Hey guys, and welcome. My name's Andrew Paradox, and welcome back to our Hearts of Iron series as Republican Spain, where we are making a good headway into France. But France still has a long way to go to they're going to capitulate. Really, we have to get to Paris. I think is the most likely outcome. Um, the Allies are starting to surround us, obviously, in Africa and stuff. We've lost some of our land to Belgium and South Africa. It's kind of a given. We kind of expected this. It's not a worry. Hopefully, after we've dealt with France, we can then march our men down south while defending our ports. Obviously, defeat Belgium and Netherlands, hopefully, but also march some men across into Africa, Morocco, that type of thing. Hopefully help out Italy over there. I think that's what we'll probably do. Then when Africa's done, we'll then go over to Yugoslavia and Greece. Though I hope the Italians can maybe kind of push into there themselves. Once obviously, oh, Switzerland as well. I almost forgot all about Switzerland. But yeah, there's a lot of things. So this is going to be a long and bloody war. We've got a lot of things to do, but I think things are going well. Overall, we're making some headway in some of these attacks when I join up with the Italians. Um, is there anywhere else we could break through? These guys are kind of a bit weak. How about if we send some men into there? Just send one of them in and send one tank into there. Hopefully, you can then take out this guy so you can't go help them. They're being attacked there, so that could be a good attack here, make our way through. Also, these guys should really be attacking this tank. Because, yeah, we really need to try and take that because all these men are just being wasted sat here. So if we just send all of our men into attack, that should be good as well. Okay, let time go by. Yep, they'll win very easily. They're going to win up here as well. Now, I can't see my enemy. That was really weird. I could see all my enemy numbers. But now that I've started again, I can't see. Must be something to do when you load in a save, maybe. When you load in a save, maybe... It kind of made a mistake. Okay, we've got some men there. How about if we send one man in there and the other two in this way to kind of distract these guys while he... Ooh, now it looks... <laughs> the French are a little bit upset here, it seems. Oh, the French are... The French are moving out of here. What is going on here? Are the Germans pushing through, possibly? The Germans are pushing through into Belgium. If they get past Belgium, they could get to Paris first, which is obviously not what I want. I don't really want them to get to Belgium. Now, these guys can all go there. Then we can push them forward as well. They're going to make it through. These guys can stop here. You should just come back. Don't need the tank to go forward then. You guys have done your job. You've let these guys get to here. Tank's coming this way. You guys, once you're done, go to here. 63. Um, are you actually in... I'm assuming he's moving to there. Five hours. So once he's moved... Okay, well, then move all these guys into there. Yeah, the French seems to be moving all of their men. I have no idea what's going on right now. Everyone just move forward. You move there. Yep, the French are just moving their men out of here. What is happening right now? He's going to go there. He's going to go there. So we can just move these guys forward once he's gone. Yep, the French are going. What is happening here? Like, I can't... <laughs> We're kind of trying to find a way to push through and all the French have just ran away. They literally have just ran away. Um, okay. Okay, just go around then. No idea what's going on, but I'll, I'll take this. I will definitely take this. If the French are fighting on multiple fronts, maybe they just couldn't handle the multiple fronts or something, as they've had to pull back. That's the only thing I can think of right now. You march that way. Let's make sure everyone's going forward. Uh, you go up to here. Then you can make your way to Brest as well. Uh, that means you can make your way over here because you won't need to defend. You might as well go that way. Yeah, they really have. The French have really just run away. There's no other way to put it. Even that guy's running away. I have... I, I'm absolutely speechless. I Maybe the Italians are just trying to push through as well. I think it's just because there's just so many men on every front trying to attack them. They've really had to just like go for it. Well, here we go. Uh, tours will go next. We're almost getting the Paris, which is very nice. You guys are going to the different places, different harbors. Very good to see. Okay, okay. So now I just need to kind of like... I probably should just set like a war, you know, like a strategy. Because the AI could probably just push through now very easily. 
Okay, how about you guys just go all the way to Brest? Just go and take Brest. Uh, these will just march up here to kind of separate them so they can't get through. That's what we'll do. You guys go there. Okay. Now, you should help there because that's the only kind of thing we are attacking right now. Yep, you guys just march through as well. Very nice indeed. We're going to take everything from them. More docks. We need more ships as much as possible. Submarines, make that battleship. We could make a bit of smaller. Light cruisers, maybe. Destroyers. Destroyers might be useful. Get some, just get a good number of ships, maybe. Get some more destroyers. Maybe just the cruisers, fine. Let's go on the smaller cruisers. Let's go for this one. Yeah, we'll put one on there. We'll, we'll make more as we go along. Yeah, and we have more military factories. So let's go with building... What do I need right now? Not more guns, more tanks, I think. And let's go for... Some more of this. There we go. Perfect. They're getting 61 there. They're getting attacked. You guys can just march on up there. Everyone just march on through. Easy as pie. Okay, these guys... Are oh my god. This is literally just... We can just march. I, I better make a strategy here. Okay. Let's get the men. Let's make an offensive line. The front line, of course. Um, offensive line. Let's just make it the Paris. Okay, kind of did it the wrong side, but that's fine as well. I guess we'll just activate, because at the moment, it's just it's going to take me so long to just try and do it myself, because we're so open now. I have no idea what happened. They were defending against me so well for so long. Um... Yeah, you guys just keep doing what you're doing. I'm happy with that, except for you. Uh, you should stay there just because the British attack. And you're not part of any division, so that's good. Are any of you going to stay here in Bordeaux? I hope some of them stay in Bordeaux. Hoping that's what they'll do. Okay, see, look at that. They can make it. I think our men are going to make it to Paris. Really hope they do. Yep, I can't see us losing this now. I still have no idea, though, what happened here. In, in reality, I'm still not exactly sure why the French changed their tactics so much. They still have a, a massive amount of men, but it's just, you know, being attacked from three sides has made it basically impossible for them. I'm not being attacked anywhere. I'm getting attacked here, apparently. Nope, not attacked here. That's just our patrol posts. There's French ships over here. We've been surrounded by Allied ships. That's the problem. We just haven't got the the navy to be able to fight them off. The Italian Union is still holding off in Africa. We need to go help them as soon as France has fallen. That will definitely be what we'll go do. Okay. Why are you just stood here? Go capture that. And you go capture that. Now, so we need to defend all of these harbors from the British. That is another thing. Okay, those guys are definitely defending that. You've yeah, got at least one there. Others can go to here, and we can send some more up north to go help with that. We took this as well. How far is France away from giving up? Okay, France is still quite far away from giving up. It will have to be Paris. Why are some people... Okay, these are Italian. Okay, so the Italians are now also here, apparently. Did not notice that at all. And more docks. Let's add more docks to... The, actually, we'll do the factories first. Um, give me some more... Let's get that to full. Let's get the artillery to full. And let's add more to the destroyers. Sorry, light cruisers, that was it. And now we need more stuff. But I could see, actually, there was another one left. There's a few more, actually. And we need some more stuff. Needed four of this. Surplus of aluminium, a lot. And of steel. We should probably stop in those. Those two are fine. Just oil. Soviet Union. We'll go for Soviet Union for now. Surplus, everything. Very nice. And fighter focus is done. What do I need for next? Aviation effort, possibly. Technology sharing. That could be good. Let's go for that, then. Let's go for technology sharing. Get the technology up and whatnot. Yep. Can't see us losing this now. 
I think we've done it, boys. I think we've done a good job here, my men. It's a good day for Spain. Republican Spain is pushing right into the French heartlands. More militaries. Let's go back to... Um, that's anti-air, yeah. I was about to say. Okay. Keep getting there. We're only a little bit more away. We just have enough men up top. Too many men are down south pushing forward. They need to get those guys up. And an ace pilot has been promoted. Lovely. He who dares wins. And we seem to have a, a boat here. Not sure why this fleet is here, apparently. But apparently this is ours. I'm very worried about the British at the moment. And look at that. Why are they attacking? Why are you guys attacking each other? Did I send this fleet out? I thought I put all the fleets onto hold. Let's have a quick look. I thought I put them all on hold. Oh well, I think that's the only one then. But yeah. Uh, docks, again. We just keep capturing too many factories at the moment. Just keep making more stuff as quickly as possible. We probably do need some more fighters. That's something I should probably... I should probably make a variant of a fighter as well. I've not really had much chance to kind of mess around with that. So we'll do that in a second. Hopefully maybe the, this, when we defeated France, maybe when this comes a bit closer to a close, I'll start to mess around with the pilot stuff. Uh, need more steel now. Soviet Union again. And here we go. These guys are moving away from that, of course. No French. No French at all. It's completely on my side. And here come the Italians trying to march their way through as well. They've managed. They've not been able to get into Yugoslavia, though. I don't think we will. They have to make a naval invasion now. They still can't make it into Switzerland. But we are going to beat the Germans, and that's what I want. And someone was mentioned, obviously, we could have got the achievement if we were nationalist Spain, you know, Franco. If you get to Paris first as Franco, you get an achievement. But obviously, we are... Uh, Na Republican Spain. Plus, I'm not playing on Iron Man, actually, so that wouldn't have mattered anyway. But, you know, in, shall we say, in our own minds, we basically got the achievement. In a way, we basically have got the achievement, in a way. Just saying, in a, in a way, we have. Okay, look at that. Marching onto Paris. Paris is so close. My men can taste the French blood. Soon we'll free the people of this democratic society. And put them into a new home. Where the people will have the say. And everyone is equal. Shall we say. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I'm not... I, I, again, I'm gonna reiterate. I may be like thrown in just like comrade and you know communist things. But I'm not actually a communist in my own politics. Just, just putting that out there. Just so people know. People might get confused sometimes. And look at this. Oh, that is just beautiful. Taking France's Spain in a game like this is just so satisfying. France, there we go. France is really coming down. And taking Paris will be hopefully what breaks the camel's back. And support weapons have been done. So we should probably now look for something else. 19, not 1942 just yet. So we'll leave that for now. I'm happy with that stuff. We could go for something like military police, possibly. Could be useful because we obviously we are taking a lot of land. So we might want to go for some military police. Like, a, you know, just the better military police could be a good one. Recon companies. I'm happy with my tanks. Right, 1941 there. We could be making the next version of the tank. Um, we could improve our artillery as well. That might be something to go for. Anti-air as well. Let's go for maybe one of these. Let's go for one of these. Improved anti-air. Let's just increase the artillery we have for now. Because I've always got to then build more of those. So we'll go for that one. Now they're trying to defend Paris, but the men have fallen. And Paris is one step away for the, 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 the brave Spanish men. Paris is one step away. And we're about to come up to completely just crunch the French between me and our Italian allies. Comrades, we are here. Together we will defeat these allies. Their, f their, their misguided... Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure to put this. Their misguided 
passion for their ideology has been misplaced. We will show them the true nature of the future Europe that we will fall upon. We'll call it the New Rome. Where the peop it won't be a republic though, but it will be done by the people. But based on the historical and uh, glory of Rome, basically, we're just kind of using the love of the past Roman empires. And there we go, Paris has fallen. Ah, oh, Paris has fallen. A lovely day. And we didn't get an event. Usually when people take, like, an important capital, an event pops up. But I, I guess not. Maybe just not for that. Let's start making some more fighters. Oh, my God, so many factories here. Ah, oh, that is lovely. Taking Paris was a good idea. I mean, we always needed to, but still. It's not really an idea, it's more something we had to do. Uh, rubber as well. Siamese Empire? Uh, let's go for... not Brazil. Liberia? Let's go for Liberia. Liberia needs someone to trade with. They need someone to trade with, and we need two. So it's not like it's a big problem. Now, how far is France now to... F oh, look at that. 92%. Calais is next up. Yeah. But I'll, I'll just let my men go through for now, but I think this is basically the end for France. They'll slowly, slowly just lose more and more stuff. But we need to be careful. We have many harbors. One here in Brest. I should send some men back there to take that. So we'll send that man and this man to Brest. There's another one here in Lorraine. Who else could we send? Uh, this guy doesn't need to be doing much. He can go to Lorraine. Um, there's another one right next to it? Really? Okay, you can go there. We just need to defend all these places. That guy is free, so we could probably move one of those later. Probably up to here. But France should capitulate very soon. I should probably move uh, the assault a bit further. Let's... Uh, Get rid of... Oh, there's no more offensive line. We, we've taken it. Okay, so just go here. There you go. Just go for that. Activate. Just so they can keep pushing forward. Just keep taking stuff. It's not much longer now. Those guys that go to their positions defend. Because the British could just attack us in France. They might want to you know, help their French allies. Which obviously would be very important for them. So far, I've managed to keep spending. looks as though keeping two men like on a harbour would normally allow you to be able to keep the harbours safe. So we kind of learn a bit from that. Um, France has not done... There doesn't seem to be many soldiers in the France, Africa. I think they've brought them all back to France in Europe. So that's good for us. We're losing in some positions, but overall this should be over soon. Just waiting for them to take a bit more so they can capitulate. They have so many soldiers though still, but they could still just capitulate. Ugh. I love it. Paris is mine. <laughs> Wait, am I evil? Oh, are we the baddies? Like, I'm not really sure here. This is a very confusing time for us. I'm not sure if we're the baddies or we're the good guys. It's hard to know. I guess we're the good guys because we're trying to fight for the people, as we we say. But still, maybe we really are the baddies. Okay, no place taken. And there we go. France has capitulated. Jose Diaz has announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Spanish forces throughout the country. The French government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and Republican Spain is now in control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. This is a great victory for all of the Novus Imperium Romanum. Great news. This actually went much quicker than I thought. I have to admit, I did think after the last part it was going to take us ages to be able to get through. But for some reason, the French kind of abandoned ship. Now we have a little bit of a problem here because uh, our men are everywhere. And we're going to stop this. Now, there are still some men that remain down here and also in the line. Defending against Germany now. Next, we should probably just go for Belgium and the Netherlands to finish them off. That is probably what I'll be going for. The Soviet Union is pushing back against the Germans. So that will give the Germans something to worry about. Hopefully, we can push through in this area. Switzerland as well to kind of ease the pressure on the Italians. We'll go for that next. Hopefully, take back the lands we've lost from the British, like here. 
and then we'll head to Africa. In fact, I could probably send some men to Africa now, but we need to keep a close eye on the British. The British are going to be a problem, so I'm going to delete this. This army is going to stop, as well as this army. We're going to delete both those armies because uh, as things stand, we just need to get things up and ready. So this tank here, you don't need to be taking that anymore. Tanky, uh, this man, okay, you're, you're, you're apparently heading there. We'll let time go. You go that way. Mountaineer, you're fine for now. This man should defend this harbour. Actually, we'll try, and do, we'll try and do what we've been doing. Keep two on each one. So a man there and a man to that one. So that's two on each of those. We have another one up here. So we should be moving men up to there. Okay, so those guys will go up to those places. Those will have to be defended from the British invasions. Um, down here, we should probably land some men. One goes there, and one more... Oh, he's attacking, actually. Okay, so don't bring him. Bring this man. So those guys will defend that. I think that should be enough for now to defend. I I'll deal with the other guys in a second. I just want to see some of our men move about. So I don't think we're going to get attacked in France just yet, but... Ah, oh, what a glorious day. Look at that. The factions are just insane. You've got the Axis and the Polish faction against the common term, the Allies over here, Allies down here, over in Asia, Allies, Axis. It's an ab absolute just mess around the whole world. Apart from in the Americas, where uh, apparently things are quite peaceful. What factories do we have now? We have now seven more factories. Build some more guns. Might as well. Um, build one more of these. Build some more fighters, I think. And that will be done. Okay, very nice. Happy with that. Now let's go back. So now we need to start actually building a proper assault army. I'm a bit worried about who's going where. I think that means they're moving, so... Yeah, that means he's moving, so... Okay, let's Okay, let's try and get these guys around here. Yeah, we'll grab these guys. These guys will be a new army. They're going to go to the lowlands. And I only have these two I only have these two generals. Um I guess we'll give it to this guy cuz he can only have 24. We'll give you them for now. Bring up the front line. They'll go here to the uh the, the Belgium They'll start attacking there. Okay, you men, march off, march off. Then when they're done, I think we should probably... They're about to fall down here. So... You guys... Now, one man's marching down. Okay, these guys can make the next army. We'll give them to this guy. Now, you guys are going to go to finish off the French here. So build a front line there. Oh, and with Switzerland, yes. So you you guys are going to go for France and Switzerland. Um, any more we'll just add to other armies once it's kind of... It's just a big mess right now. I need to get the soldiers moving out the way so I know who's on watch at which area. We'll defeat the enemies in Europe, on the mainland, in Central Europe, and then we'll head to Africa. The Soviets are all the way down here, it would seem. Okay. Uh, then we'll just add some... So Oh my god, so many... So many factories right now. There we go. Oh no, need more. One more. Build lots of fighters. Let's do that. And the Soviets. Now I did say I was going to make a new variant of fighter. Let's have a quick look. We can create a variant using the air experience we have. Now reliability, range, weapons, engine. Let's go for weapons. Cost 25. So we could do about two things. So we could increase weapons. And range? I like the idea of range. Let's go for that. C55. Perfect. So we're going to build that. Um, the AMK1, I guess. There we go. So we're building those ones up. I like that. That's pretty cool. Needed more oil. Uh, are you giving me none at the moment? What the hell's going on here? Not sure. Maybe I didn't click enter. That's why. Uh, more rubber is needed. We need, we need to go somewhere else. Okay, how about... We cancel this one. So cancel the rubber from you. And let time go by for one second. Surplus, surplus. 
Well, we've got a massive surplus of steel. We don't need that much steel anymore. But we do need rubber, and we need quite a bit of it. So I'm thinking Siam or Brazil. Let's go for Siam, because they have quite a lot. And they are a fascist nation, after all. So it kind of suits us. Uh, Switzerland should now fall. The Italians should be able to push through them now. Now we have the French trying to get through this one. I mean, this is why we need to get our men moving now. Because otherwise, our enemies are going to start pushing back. But we got the main thing. We got France to capitulate the mainland of France. Ah, oh, it's just so glorious. Ah, oh, it's just perfect. When we started this series, that was always the dream. Just to beat France at some point. I didn't think we'd get a chance to maybe do it, possibly. But we did in the end, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, you guys are moving in. You are part of that army. I think everyone up north is part of the army. Now, you guys should join that. And you should join that. As well as you. So, yeah. So, we'll just click this. He'll click all of them. Then we just bring up the front line again. Uh, delete that for one second. Front line. There we go. Just so you can bring those extra added men. Eh, those extra added men. Uh, I guess we'll bring... Nope. These guys are all part of it. Some of these need to be added in. Which we'll do in one second. But most of them are in it. So, we'll kind of split those two armies up. Yeah, the harbors seem okay. They're falling over here, because thanks to the Italians and stuff. Tanks moving down. Very nice. That will fall at some point. Naval battle reports. Ugh. It's not going to help. I, I know these are bad right now. The British. 47 planes. Um, and two of those. I guess we should send some planes in. Resistance to occupation. We should be gentle to the people. We said we'd be gentle. I could release Portugal, of course. I'm sure many people would like me to release Portugal. But uh, we will not be releasing Portugal. Portugal is part of our people's empire. They should be... They're proud. They should be. There we go. Yep. Good, good, good. Okay, you join this guy. You are in one. You are not... I should look for the ones with no color, shouldn't I? Like that guy. Okay, now this is the only other one, I think. As well as these guys. So I'll throw them all in, and then we'll give them some plans to do. Now, once this has fallen, you don't need to defend that, I guess. But someone needs to defend to lose. So maybe you should not be in that. Okay, how about these guys go defend this then? There we go. That's sorted then. So then we click on this, and we can make the front line once again. There we go. So we make the front line again. That should bring everyone in. So it looks like our lines have been drawn perfectly. And more and more planes. Okay. I don't think the men are ready just yet. You guys are not in one? I was sure you were in one. Okay, you guys join this. Okay, so they all should be in that now. Again, we'll click off this. Draw front... Oh, gotta click that off. Then click on this and do a front line. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get those guys in there. There's 18 here, 22 here. So many divisions I've had to use to kind of defend the harbours, but it's just best for now. While the British are here, it's just too much. But there's many gaps here, so I think we should probably start making a plan for an attack. So we'll make an offensive line. Just go for the the Hague. Is that finessing pronounced it? The Hague. So we'll get that one sorted. Uh, this one should be going for... Now, obviously, that's going to fall apart anyway, so I'm not really concerned about that. We'll just kind of go for burnt. There we go. <laughs> just go for that there. Okay, everyone's moving around still a little bit. We'll let people kind of move around a position a bit more. Let them get a bit of their bearings straight. But I think these guys will probably be ready. An atomic research. <gasps> we have the atomic research, my people. And we can now go for the nuclear reactors. 640. That's going to take two years. It'll be 1943 before we can make those. That is uh, that's a long time. Head of time penalty will be reduced by 50%. Okay, let's go for it for now. How long would we have to wait? 19? Oh, we'd have to wait two years to actually even develop it. So actually, by the time it's finished, that's when we could have researched it 
normally. So that's good for that then. Perfect. We have a lot of uh, you know research slots, so it's not like I have to worry too much about that. Okay, now actually my planes should probably look into planes. We're 28 here. Okay, bring some into that one. Yeah, Languedoc. Let's not take planes to help us in this fight. We'll just use soldiers for now. We'll leave the planes till later. Um, planes should be defended down here, actually. Let's just make sure. It's the Iberian region. These guys are air superiority. How about interception? Because I don't care if they can do a, a naval attack. If they want to do a naval assault, they can. We've got men defending everywhere. I don't think they will go for that. I don't think we had air superiority. That's not why it was stopped. Because they obviously have naval superiority. So I don't think they need to be worried too much. Let's activate that one and see how it goes. So there we go. Some of them are starting to push through. Looking nice. Those guys, yeah, just defending that one because they need to defend that. Uh, wow, okay. The German Reich is just pushing through right now. Uh, Belgium has capit capitulated. Great news. Yeah, so that's not going to last long. So these guys will probably have to just go for Africa. <laughs> Look at that. France has just been destroyed. And uh, we'll activate this one. They'll just probably head down south, hopefully. Help out against Switzerland. We need to defeat Switzerland because they're just causing all sorts of trouble for the... The Italians, so it will be good to get rid of them. So I'm pretty happy with this. Central Europe allies have been defeated, basically. Um, that will mean we can kind of concentrate then on Africa. Africa will be the next battleground in this war. They will come next. We still have a little bit of land in Africa. Then hopefully as... Oh, SFR Yugoslavia. Well, it looks as though they became communist. They're still in the Allies. So Tito has become a member of the Allies. So he's a member of the Allies still, but he's now actually a communist. So my work kind of did happen in the end. Interesting. So hopefully the Italians will be able to do assault against them in Greece at some point. But yeah, very happy with this. I think we're going to end this part here because a lot has happened in this part. Things have really gone in our favor. Um... Yeah, the AI made it really difficult to bring over, then Stanley just made it really easy. Disappointing. I was, I mean, we were going to win, I think. We were going to just keep pushing through because they were going to attack from three sides. So we would have made it at some point. So I guess it just allowed us to do it by 1941, which was a bit earlier than I expected. Let's have a quick look over in the east. Japan's still having problems here. And France, I think, has taken Macau. Damn them. We'll get it back. Asia will come much, much later, I suspect. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you'll join us next time and see where this war takes us. The war still continues. There's still many sides and many conflicts. Who knows what will happen? I'll see you then.